I think it's not too late for me to join your class. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mrs. Ophelia Ashelesoa. The Choloni Ashite are confirmed the third. May we give him a standing ovation. Shall we please all be on our feet? Let's give reverence and respect to our chief, the Choloni Ashite Akonfran, the third. Now, he will give the Ashite Akonfran award. And this is the most prestigious but discretionary award funded by the Teshi School. The selection criteria was based on the credible community service and personal sacrifice. For the year 2017, the award was conferred posthumously on the following personalities. And I'll read the citation. <laughs> the next citation is the Matthias of Liberty. And, it's, and it goes to Adesa Pagaji. Adesa Pagaji. Now you were a fearless freedom fighter, full of promise, but your life was plucked off just like a blossoming flower. When when a staccato of bullets from Kalashi Hinkos were sprayed at your back by disoriented and irate policemen. You survived it. Rest in perfect peace. The Messiah of liberty. May posterity vindicate your untimely death. Congratulations, the Messiah of liberty. Adesa Bakaji. Adesa Bakaji. Any representative of the family to do to do that? The Teshi Traditional Council is proud of you. You were a fearless freedom fighter, full of promise, but your life was plucked off just like a blossoming flower. You were disoriented by irate policemen. May your soul rest in perfect peace, the Messiah of liberty. May posterity vindicate your untimely death. Congratulations. The Teshi Traditional Council recognizes your achievement. Congratulations. Tete Kwashi, as the Dayan of the cocoa industry of Ghana. Tete Kwashi. If my family members are here, please step forward and pick the award on behalf of your great grandfather. To the glory of the almighty God who protected and sustained Tetekwashi in far away Fernando Po, and to the immortal memory of the man whose singular sacrifice and perseverance built the cocoa industry and the economy of Ghana. The Teshi Traditional Council recognizes and acknowledges your great achievement. Congratulations, Tetekwashi. This award is given posthumously. Wow. Say wow. It's being given to his great grandchildren. Uh, congratulations. We deserve it. Wow. Ghana, 
is proud of you and the traditional council of Teshi recognizes your achievement. Congratulations. Mafia money, we get Grassroots and Development Advocate, Ni has served on several national and quasi-international committees, including the National Technical Committee for the Renovation of the National Theatre, Chitansi Arbitration Committee, and the Supreme Ga Adangwe Council, among many others. Ni holds a master's degree in democracy, governance, law, and development, and is the current Jasache of the Teshi Stool and head of Teshi Leishi Quarter. Ni, you're welcome. And this you Honorable Lekma Chief Executive, Honorable MP for Lejukukum, Nime Ikename, Corporate and Media Partners, Invited Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of the Chiefs and People of Teshi, the Award Committee, and on my own personal behalf, I wish to welcome you all to this special function. We are gathered here this evening to acknowledge and celebrate a handful of the sons and daughters of Teshi and other Gadangwe icons for their outstanding career achievements and distinguished services to our dear community and Mother Ghana. We are also here to acknowledge and celebrate a few corporate citizens within the Teshi traditional area that have touched the lives of our people through their innovative customer services and good corporate social responsibilities to our dear community. Ladies and gentlemen, as a forward-looking community, 
Teshi has come a very long way from the prehistoric times to the present era of mobile phones, the intranet and globalization. Teshi has demonstrated a very strong character of resilience and the ability to play the pace setter role among its peers. Until quite recently, Teshi is celebrated for its resilient fishing industry, military exploits, and a galaxy of internationally acclaimed scholars, businessmen, and master craftsmen, among many others. However, due to a senseless chieftaincy dispute, Teshi has lost its past glory. Development has stagnated, and our traditional area has become vulnerable to environmental and health care problems. Consequently, our public image as a people has sunk to an all-time low. And for this reason, we feel ashamed to identify ourselves as Teshi May whenever we go outside the comforts of our dear town. But believe me, Teshi shall rise again. Very soon, thanks to the progressive policies and development of our new and dynamic chief, every native of this town shall be proud to rise up and be counted among his peers. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to announce with pride and a deep sense of responsibility that very soon a football association will be established to organize a Teshi Football League. The Accra Heritage Fund for the Development and Preservation of Languages and Culture will also see the light of day. Accra Fund, that is the Accra Education Fund shall be rolled out in the first quarter of next year. LECMA is expected to pass the building plan for work to begin on the proposed Accra College of Fisheries and Development. His Excellency the President, Nio Kamwa Nana Akufu Adu, is also expected to give priority attention and consideration to the proposed Teshi Fish processing plants in line with the MPP's one district, one factory policy initiative. Nime Kename. It is said that any nation that does not honor its heroes is not worth dying for. Therefore, I am very proud to announce before this August Assembly that after a very thorough search and stakeholder consultations, the Teshi Traditional Council has finally settled on the list of 31 Gadangwe icons and corporate entities for the Made in Accra Excellence Awards. All the award winners were selected on the basis of their outstanding career achievements and contributions towards the collective effort at building a very strong culture of citizenship, service, and responsibility within Teshi and the Gadamic communities in general and Ghana as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, at this very juncture, each and every merit award winner shall be called to mount this stage and be decorated and rewarded. I wish to avail myself of this singular opportunity to say a very big Thank you to all the lucky award winners for having served our dear communities with distinction and for being the role models for the present and future generations. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the awards tonight will be a posthumous award in honor of Tetekwashi, the great dean for the cocoa industry in this country.
Today, we are going to celebrate the memory and, uh, of Tete Kwashi, and his grandsons are here. Please acknowledge them. I thank you all for your attention and wish you an enjoyable evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. He deserves a better applause. Um, Teshi has a very long history and uh, we've had occasions of darkness and more brightness on our part as a town. Whenever you talk about this town, whenever you introduce yourself as someone who hails from this community, people look at you twice for two main reasons. The first one is that you have so much boldness, confidence to help to execute a worthy course. Or when you decide to switch, you can make anything which is built come down into tatters. The most important thing is that we are very audacious people, very bold. And that is a very, very good attribute or character that we have. But um, for some reason, We've had occasions where that particular good trait has become more or less of a liability instead of an asset. And all I would say is that there are many people from this community who have achieved great things. But collectively, we have more to achieve, or we have more to do as a town. 